This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their owns. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view. In 3, A2, A1. Good times, anytime you need a payment. Good times, anytime you need a friend. Good times, anytime you are for one. Not getting hassled, not getting hustled. Keeping your head held above water. Making a wave where you can. Temporary lane oh. Good times, easy credit, rip offs. Good time, scratching and surviving. Good time, hanging and jiving. Good times, ain't we lucky we got em. The do -do -do -do. Good time. And it was black. <laughs> Hello guys, what's up? I know I came out of nowhere, but I've been wanting to do this. Well, anyway, first off, y'all know how we do it here, piggies. This is a place where we come to keep it cute, keep it mute, or you will get the boot. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Um, this is not drag race related, so I know y'all can go ahead and leave now. <laughs> this is for my other people who are interested in other things and my few black fans, so it shouldn't be too many people here. We are going to be, my we, I have a guest today. We just wanna do a quick little video on um, the Good Times show and the new Good Times show that they're doing on Netflix that is getting a lot of backlash. So yeah, but as always, if you like this video, please like the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. If you uh, like it so much you want to tip, you can tip, please do. Money's always wanted, honey, trust. So I had to beg. I had to offer this person head. And, I, and, and, and I've heard how I smell. And I was willing to do it for the cause. <laughs> and he came prepared for this certain topic because he's wearing a bonnet. Ladies and gents, and introducing Deontay. Hey, everybody. Deontay, thanks for doing the video. You're very welcome. I felt no, I'm nervous. A, oh, don't, don't be nervous. They won't read you too bad. <laughs> yes, they will. Oh, true. I thought it was important, <laughs> important to have another black person. He's black up black. You see, he's wearing a hair bonnet. He makes can yep. collard. He makes can collard greens. He. <laughs> nope, 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 let me stop you right there, let me stop you right there, let me stop you right now. I'll make them fresh, fresh. <laughs> okay, fresh collard greens and chitlins on Sundays, and he dips his pickles in Kool-Aid, so you know he black. Uh, am I, wait, is that true? No, <laughs> but I'm just gonna go. <laughs> so, have you heard about this whole Good Times thing going on, this whole re revamp, reboot? Yeah, I heard about it. You know, they've been talking about it all on TikTok and Twitter, mm -hmm. and I just haven't had um, time to actually look at the trailer. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people are mad at it right now, so I, I'm, I'm kind of excited to see what's going on. Right from now. what you were reading, though, or like whatever, what what was the census you got from like the comment section? Like, what was the thing that you thought people were angry about? So a lot of I know a lot of people are mad because um, it's not like the original Good Times at all. Like, okay. it's kind of it's kind of almost like the Cleveland show. Right. Okay, they okay. they, they uh -huh. keep comparing it to the Cleveland show. Uh -huh. And it comes to find out that Seth MacFarlane has something to do with the show. Oh, see, yeah. And honestly, so, I haven't... Sorry, not, not, not to cut you off, but, you know, but mm -hmm. I haven't watched it either. But from what I could see a little preview, it was giving me kind of Baby's Kids. Like, it was giving me, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. that. I'm like, where is, like, where's the good times? Where's the, like, they, they could have literally right. made this into any other cartoon for what I'm seeing and called it something else. Right. You know, so. Like, I saw, I saw. Um, no, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, oh, I saw the pictures, like, and when I first saw the pictures, I thought it was fake. Right. I, didn't, I didn't think that they was really making a good times cartoon. Mm-hmm. And what I, was, what I was thinking was, they're doing, like, a good times, like a, like a literal maybe modern time or like a live version of it again or i feel like they could have made a movie of good times what do you think about that yeah yeah like a movie yeah that that, that would have worked i think so too it just you know people don't know how to do movies now like remake all the remakes nowadays have been trash right from what i was seeing so, from the comments 
I was getting from the comments that people, and we'll get into that after we watch everything, but like just pretty much mm -hmm. that how they never liked the original Good Times anyway because of how it mm -hmm. de depicted black people. And I can't agree yeah. with it. I can't agree with them, but we'll get into that after yeah. we watch this. Okay, we'll, oh, before I get into that, I just got some news. And normally y'all know I don't be in people's business. I don't care about, about what people are doing, but because I feel like being messy and I just had flashbacks of what this person did to me. Um, a certain queen, allegedly, well, no, I, I get the name, Todrick Hall. Yes, I'm coming for you, bitch. Because you had so much to say about me and trying to label me as this horrible person to work with that you only worked with me one time and you're making it seem like you're, you're labeling me as this horrible, this hard to work with black person. And from what I was quoted, the most difficult black, the most difficult person you ever worked with and we only worked together one time and it wasn't that serious. And so because you, you want to do all that, I'm going to jump on this really quick. So allegedly, he's in trouble for sleeping with a 16-year-old person in the UK. And I can guarantee you that person is white. I have important news. Let me guess. The state called and they want to cut you a disability check for your face. So I'm assuming that's JJ, the current version of JJ and Thelma. And that was James, mm. James Evans. I, we just. Why got, <laughs> oh no! Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Why do we got James and like somebody big Uncle Jerome? Well, I mean, it's, it's kind of accurate. <laughs> so I guess this is more modern, but yet they still, I guess, are mm -hmm. in, are in the projects. I guess. And that's definitely how JJ would look if he was in like the 2020s. You think so? Yeah, because. You know, I never understood why he was such a ladies man. It's, like, it's called acting. It's called <laughs> acting. <laughs> you acting. know those women were like, oh my god, this is the, this is my best work. <laughs> it all started with my grandfather, James Evans. My job as the man of this... Okay, so they're the so, blood relative of yeah. the original Good Time. Yeah. Okay. okay that's, that, that changes a lot of things. Right. Because it's not exactly them. You know, right. but it's still kind of sad to see that their bloodline is still in the project. But I mean, but mm -hmm. I mean, but that happens. But OK. Yeah. Get to the drive through. Can you do only fans? Take off your Is that Wanda Sykes that's talking? Real. I think it's Wanda Sykes speaking. Yeah, that's Wanda. It's not take off your shoes. <laughs> now she won't see JJ's uh. feet. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I really kind of hate everything using. I, I get it. We are now in these times. But I, I don't know, yeah. it's just weird, like, OnlyFans, like, okay, like, uh, like I, right. you know. I, I just feel like we're so, like, hyper-sexualized, mm -hmm. which is, it can be a good thing, because, you know, be sexually liberated, but everything don't have to be about sex. Are you sure? And this is coming from a gay man. You, you're you gay? <laughs> <laughs> At least they ain't got that drug-dealing baby under my roof no more. So the babies give me maybe a black version of Stewie. Right, or Rollo if from um from um Cleveland show. I never act to be honest, I never cared for the Cleveland show. I don't Yeah. It, yeah. I I was a kid when it came out, so of course mm -hmm. I liked it. Right. <laughs> I didn't find it that funny. I just could not never get into it. I tried, but I just couldn't get into it. Wait. Right, that's why it didn't last that long. But I mean the damn baby got waves. <laughs> I could never. I'm saying drugs on the streets. Okay, so they're actually gonna be trying to dive into some like real stuff that's going on in the um poor communities. But so was Good Times, the original show, and people yeah. and people are mad about so, that. So I'm like, I don't right. get it. <laughs> I love you too, very much. Everything, everything back. The revolution would not be. Yeah, I, I guess she's supposed to be like the Michael because you know he was like real like I'm a revolutionary. Oh, see, but but so so was Delma Delma though kind of in a way like she every now and then right out sister. Mm -hmm. But the yeah, question but is, you know, Michael, who's Winona? Michael and his big nose. But where's where's Winona and where's Bookman? They might be here. They have to have the know. nosy neighbor. They she she got to right. come marching in somehow. Good as the evidence of old. Didn't that just die? Oh lord, they just had to include twerking. <laughs> this. this <laughs> I'm, you would not think that this was a show called Good Times. Did Zeus make this? Right. <laughs> Everything like the baby, little baby, and baby baby. Really? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you mentioned Boondocks. It does give a little Boondocks. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I was also getting babies, kids. Kind of getting proud family. As far as like not what was going on, but as far as the art. 
the way it kind of looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember? You might not remember, but do you remember when um, Friday had an anime series? I don't. They had an anime, and I think they only had like four or five episodes. It didn't, it didn't last long at all. Uh, was it bad? But it was. It, I remember, I was a kid when I watched it, so you know, I thought all cartoons were good. But it came out in like. 2006, 2007, let me, that time. Let me see. I'm like, I, that, now I know, now I know back, back in my day, they had a cartoon for almost every black rapper. MC Hammer had a cartoon, Kid and Play had a cartoon, you know, so <laughs> it's not. These, I didn't know about that. Yeah, these things, they were, but they were, they were pretty decent. I, I kind of do, like, kind of, like, like looking at the, at, at the Chris Tucker character seems familiar, but I don't think I like watched Yeah. It. Yeah. They made him so ugly in that cartoon. <laughs> They made him like an alien. <laughs> See, I feel like I would have appreciated this had they had really made it look like the Good Times show. Like, had this what came out back in yeah. the, back in the day as a cartoon, mm-hmm. better. Like, cause they, cause I feel like I, I feel like they would have drawn them like the Fat Albert cartoon characters. You know how they wear them damn big lips and all. Yeah, you know, like the that. Kids. Yeah, that's how they would have like. And lanky. Yeah, because because even that's yeah. how that, that's how JJ Evans used to draw his pictures of like very lanky, you know. Right, right, right. Everything. I guess that was just I guess that was just the style back in the day, like yeah. especially like a lot of black drawing black artists. Mm-hmm. That, that was like the style of lanky. Right. So what do you think? So what do you from you seeing this trailer? Is it giving you ignorance? Is it giving you? Huh. I might give it a go. Is it giving you? Uh, so I don't know if I'm ever gonna watch it because I'm probably never gonna get Netflix. Okay, okay. But you know, even though the show had like its you know cliche moments, mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm one of those people that like to um, try it before I knock it. Right. So I would at least watch one episode, and mm-hmm. the fact that they kind of dig into some some real stuff that's going on in the black community is kind of good. Mm-hmm. So I would just have to check it out, but I'm not. I'm more so on the. I'm not going to watch it as to I am going to watch it. Right. Maybe if we watch it on Twitch together. Right. And hit. Would you? I but out of a one to ten, what would you give when you seen that long trailer? What would you give it? Just so far. I give it a six. I give okay. It a six. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I, if that's really, I'm not too mad either. But I can see why people might have some like, oh, you know, they're showing the typical. But like somebody said, and what I what I thought about myself as well, these same people that are probably complaining in the in the comment section about this is how y'all see black people are the same people that are sus- subscribed to Zeus Network and exactly and stand baddies and exactly. and chat o'clock, right. you know, and all and all kind of things. So it's like, <laughs> <laughs> so it's like if you're into that, then you have no right to complain about this cartoon right here, at all. Right. But I do feel like. They only attach the name just to cause a buzz and just to probably get more attention because yep. this could have been called anything else. It it, it does not need right. good times attached to it at all. Because the only thing about it that was good times was where they were living and and the title else and the was, title was like literally yeah, the literally title. the good times title. But the art style, the just the whole the the comedic timing and everything, it does not give me good times at all. And I do feel like if 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 Esther Roll, you know your auntie, if she was still living with us, I don't think she would like it. I really don't like like she could be the kind of person who wouldn't be into like all this ratchet, you know, kind of stuff, whatever, right. you know. And I, I and now I'm curious, like I wonder what the what anybody who's who's still living from who made good times, I wonder how they feel about this. Did they okay? Yeah. Did they okay it? Did they, you know, that's what I wonder. Right. I wonder what um, Don Amos would think about this. He's still here, so maybe he'll say something. Yeah, I know. Maybe he'll say something. But you know, he did do some. He did do some movies like My Baby's Daddy and stuff like that. Yeah, but <laughs> and plus we have to remember that these people are not who they are in the the, the characters from the show. Right. You right, know. Right. But I still think Esther Roll would right. not would not like something like this. I just and she right. She, she gives she me. She gave me very. She gave me kind of like the same vibe that my yeah. Had been. Yeah, and, and and that she wasn't that far off from her character in Good Times. Like she probably was like really into right. like God and all the kind of speaking stuff. Speaking of so. speaking of people nowadays, hate Florida Evans. They oh, hate her. That's what all you were saying earlier. Like so, let me, I'm trying to read some, trying to see, kind of find some comments that I say really quick. Netflix needs to remove this. I hated the original, and I'm sure this day and age, the, re- the reboot is worse. Yeah, somebody was like, Florida was a super villain that never wanted her family. To leave them projects is the biggest reason, and let's yeah, let's talk about that. Well, hey, I know you're yeah. younger than me, but look older. Um, <laughs> did you really get a chance to watch Good Times, or 
So, um, I used to watch reruns at my grandma's house, and it still comes on TV. Right. Mm-hmm. So that then, and, and every now and again, I'll, I'll stop and watch it because I did like the show. Mm-hmm. Like, there's a lot of episodes that I remember. Right. Like the episode when that man comes to the party and he dies in that chair. I know. I was about to say, remember I showed y'all? I kept showing y'all. That's one of my yeah. saddest good times episodes when that dang man come over there and he just want a family to die around. That really touched right. my. Like, I can cry now. Like, stop. So, yeah. So okay, so, so, okay, so 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 you watched it. You have a feeling for it. You already know. You know how it is. You know Michael was the mm-hmm. strong-headed brother, right on. You know JJ was the yeah. playboy somehow. Uh, Velma was the. Right. You know she was the princess of the family. You know a little. Right. You know and Florida, in my opinion, was this like strong, just devoted Christian mom. You know. She was definitely the glue. Yeah. Because J- James was this. You know, even though he died like halfway through the series. Right. He was like, he was the real stern, firm dad mm-hmm. who was always working, always mad. They even had an episode where they told him to stop because he had high blood pressure uh-huh. or something like that. And you know why he died? Why he died? Oh, because he, I think they were having some issues. Like, I think like a lot of them didn't, yeah. a lot of them didn't like, you know, the JJ, the, the, the person. Because mm-hmm. like, I think just how he was and getting too much attention. Kind of like with Family Matters really quick, like how they didn't really like, Marvel. yeah, yeah, they, they, they didn't like Jaleel White at first because he was getting all his attention and everything. So, yeah. um, but anyway. They said he was a diva though. Yeah, no, that's what I heard too. So, yeah, I enjoyed Good Times. It's something that you would think would bore you, but like out of, out of, right. those, out of those shows back in the day, like Good Times, Fred Sanford and stuff like that, I did like Good Times. I never really watched mm-hmm. Sanford, Sanford and something like that. Now, that kind of bored me for a lot. Me neither. But, me neither. Yeah, but Good Times, I feel like it was something that you could really relate to. Like it had a lot of moments that you could relate to. It was truthful right. stuff. There were a lot of black people in the projects. There still are a lot of black people in the projects. Right. There are some families who are taken together by the hair on their chin, you know, and they are just, but but those hard times, they still have a long, a strong unit, you know, and they still... Right. is surviving. Right. So the reason why people are saying that Florida was a villain is because she never really wanted them to leave the project. Whenever, whenever JJ would be like, Mom, I got da 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 She's like, now JJ... Is that the right thing to do? <laughs> like, do this, do this, do this. Right, right. Do this. <laughs> damn, damn. <laughs> so, so, do you, did you see her as a villain? So, there were a lot of moments that Florida did that I didn't like, like the episode when JJ brought that painting of Black Jesus in uh-huh. the house. Mm-hmm. And she was so adamant, like, Jesus is a white man. Uh-huh. But a lot of the times when Florida had those moments where she was like, don't do this. It was always something that compromised her integrity. Right. Like when she, when they wanted her to do these commercials for, um, was it toothpaste? Yeah. I can't remember. Uh, no, no, no. It was, it was some kind of drink that, that you drink and it was to like make you feel good, but it was like, it was some kind of, it was some kind of drug or it was something that wasn't right about it. And so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. She, she, they offered her like a lot of money to be the face of that uh-huh. and she didn't want to do it because she found right. out what was going on with the product that she was advertising so that makes her a villain so right they wanted her to basically sell out in order to like her it's like a lot of things like fast money isn't always um the best money right so th- th- that's what i'm saying that's why i was i respect her like yeah like yeah i'm sure she had moments where you're like now calm down like, like girl just just let, let them have it let them right. let, let them have fun you know but but right. like, yeah but some of us don't want to sell our soul or something just to like yeah yeah, yeah you yeah. may you may get out the project but but at what cost you know like what right. like you know your heart your soul your spirit your integrity so it's like if that makes her a villain then i guess i'm a villain too i guess a lot, i guess a lot of people are a villain because you know i'm not gonna mm-hmm. like do all that i'm not gonna go to the hotel oh you know go to the hotel to <laughs> yes. say, because say she did do the commercials, uh huh, and everybody like believed her, mm. and they all bought these products and ended up hurting them. Right? She, she did. Um, she made a bigger mess, right, by doing it than just not doing it mm-hmm. and keeping her integrity. Mm-hmm. But keep in mind, I I haven't watched all the episodes of right. the time, so I don't know any right. moments. So well, they did hit the lottery. The in my head. I, th- I think they hit the lottery at one time or something like that. Something, and I can't remember what happened with that, but like they hit the lottery and blah, blah, blah. and then you know when James left, she ended up being a bus driver, and you know it was just a single mom trying try, 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 try to do their thing. But I want black people who are watching this, if they're watching this, to comment down below why y'all don't like Good Times anymore or what y'all see against Florida Evans or and or it represented a time and during that time there was a bunch of that stuff going on. And yes, they have shows like Different World that shows us in a different light. They have shows like The Cosby. Right. The Cosby. Or The Cosby. But yeah. everybody can't relate to The Cosby's. 
I didn't grow up in a family with a doctor, right. a doctor and a lawyer mom right. and a biracial family. That's not my story, you know. Right. So or fresh print, yeah, or fresh print. So it's like, are you mad at them? And even Roseanne, that was a show about poor white people who was happy and trying to make it. Yeah. So yeah. so should we hate Roseanne show too? Should we hate All in the Family? Like 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 there were there are a lot of shows that that show different people in different communities at different times. For each people, so right. if you don't like good times, then go watch um um the Jeffersons with them being you know right. living you know living it up you know go watch that right. you know so it's like and good times I think good times was one of the only shows that was like that yeah I think I mean Sanford and Son they were kind of like just like dad and son living in a junkyard kind of thing mm-hmm. you know Amen oh. Amen was wasn't it was like a just a middle class family like church related kind of thing yeah i mean like yeah, yeah good times kind of was like one of those only kind of shows like like that in a way yeah so for me i think good times and all these shows were there for a moment and they're there for a reason and i don't see all this hate all of a sudden i feel like everything that i like people are just finding any reason to hate and want to cancel now and don't like all of a sudden and we get it we want to see black people better represented but also, yeah. some of us need to do better so that we can be better represented. Once again, yeah. we are supporting and loving baddies and twerking and everything and all kind of stuff. But then we want to be seen in a better light. Right. And they don't speak for every black people that's out here. But right, I mean, <laughs> you can't. Like even you know. though, like even though I cannot relate to good times, I definitely appreciate. Oh, you can relate what to it, it. What it was, you can relate to it. You the, no neck like Esther Roll. You wearing a bonnet. You like Sunday dinner, even on the weekdays. <laughs> I mean, I do have Michael's big nose. <laughs> you do have Michael's nose. <laughs> <laughs> and some lips that I know is good at giving head. Um, with all that being said, as far as the cartoon goes, I we have to watch it and then come back to you guys, maybe like a little quick video and say like what we really think. But we just want to give y'all like just a little like insight on like just what we feel and like what all the big the, the big fuss is about. I'm curious to know what y'all think below because I'm just like, I don't see the big deal, Leo. But well, you know, I think it was one of the videos that I wanted to do. I just wanted to just have a discussion. I know it's not drag race. I know it's anything, but I, because because I hold good times kind of in my heart, especially like we were talking about certain episodes with that damn, with that, that damn guy that just, wanted to, that just wanted to pass away, you know, stuff like that. I feel like y'all should all watch the episode, but like, yeah, I don't think we had all kind of shows, once again, that showed us in different lights. And it's up to you to choose which one you want to you want to see because I mean I couldn't relate to different world because I didn't go to school. Child, I left school at elementary. Okay, look at me now. Look, at, no, look at me now. Still at home. Um, you did a great job, actually. Really, did. you should do more. Like I feel like you could do be good, do, do, do good in podcasts, something like that. You know, because really? I think so. Because I mean, you seem to have like be serious about it. Have a, like you had a very serious discussion and topic. You know, like you had things to say. So mm-hmm. I don't think you did bad at all. So thank you for doing this video again. Thank you. Thank you. He's getting hungry, y'all. He's trying to eat You're his welcome. finger. He's trying to eat his fingers. I think he wants neck bones. I just realized I had like a stain on my shirt. Yeah, he wants neck bones. <laughs> um, guys, <laughs> thank y'all for watching this video. Comment down below. Let us know how y'all feel. Once again, we'll try to maybe do a little quick little video once we see an episode to give our honest opinion about it. And yeah, so anyway, remember to stay beat, stay beautiful. Most importantly, stay what? Stay blessed. Stay blessed. Go, go. Wait, say it like that's the roll in good times. Stay blessed. <laughs> Right on, right on, brother. <laughs> Anytime you need a friend, <laughs> keep a show or a commotion. Oh, wait a minute. I thought you said he was a uh, young actor. I did, but I also said he was cute.